Well, hello everyone. This is Albert Espinoza, and this is week three of our MPA 520 Leadership and Management course uh, for Dr. Beth Groves at CBU. And this week, I will be talking about uh, the different temperament types in the workplace. For this video, I will compare uh, two individuals that work at the City of Rancho Cucamonga, specifically in the Public Works Department, one being the Public Works Director and the other being the Street Storm Drain and Fleet Superintendent. Uh, I'll go into details why they sometimes don't see eye to eye on certain approaches and why they do clash with each other. Uh, again, these are just observations I've made and how their different types of temperament results or approaches uh, make them who they are and why their strengths and weaknesses uh, have them in the positions they're in within the agency. As Kiersey mentions in his book, uh, we're all different in our own way, but we're looking to achieve the same goals. Uh, he talked about uh, the Scarecrow, the Lion, Dorothy, and the Tin Men having four different personalities, but in the end, the goal was the same, which was to reach the Wizard of Oz for some help. As we've read in the Kiersey book, a temperament is a configuration of observable personality traits, uh, which entail communication and action. Uh, here you see Kiersey's model with the different types of approaches. And uh, working closely with the two individuals in public works, uh, I can see why they sometimes have some uh, <laughs> disagreements with each other. Uh, going down the communication aisle, uh, I can start off by saying the superintendent it comes from a concrete perspective. Uh, he enjoys checking things off. Uh, he's very structured. He likes facts and figures. And, you know, he, he wants to feel like he's accomplished something at the end of the day. That's why he needs to check things off. He's very concrete about things. Uh, where it comes to the director, uh, he's more abstract. Uh, you know, he wants, you know, he, he dreams about what the department could be down the road. He's got a vision for, for where he wants to take the department. And, you know, he and I like to talk and be a little bit more philosophical. So if he's more from a communications aspect, more abstract. So right off the bat, superintendent's concrete. Uh, the director is an abstract. From an actions perspective, um, the superintendent is more cooperative. Uh, he tries to do the right thing. He's by the book. Uh, he's very black and white. I, I mean, he literally follows uh, you know, rules and guidelines to the T and he's all about the details. When it comes to the director, he's more of a utilitarian approach. Uh, you know, he just wants to get things done. Uh, he's not interested in the details, more of the results. So right off the bat, my director falls under rationals uh, because he is abstract and utilitarian, and my superintendent is concrete and cooperative. So right off, you can see the two differences between both of them. And, you know, they, I, I see the disagreements between them. I see how they sometimes clash because they do have different perspectives. But that makes sense because one is a director and one is a superintendent. One is more detail oriented. One more. The other person is more big picture. If I had to take a guess and break down uh, into further detail uh, the type of uh, temperament that both my director and su superintendent are, I would say the superintendent would be an ISTJ, which would be an inspector under guardian, and the director would be a mastermind, INTJ, under rational. And a uh, reason being is, again, the director is more abstract and, and the superintendent sees things more from a concrete perspective. Uh, one is strategic, the other one is logical. Uh, the director looks ahead into the future of the department uh, while the superintendent sees what's in front of him, you know, today, uh, you know, the superintendent uh, being the ISTJ, ISTJ is, you know, more disciplined, task oriented, traditional and objective, where the public works director is more strategic, insightful, competent. Uh, yeah, he's a creative solver. And it's funny, even though he's the department head, he, he does like to work alone which all fun, fall under the INTJ. And the difference between the two of them, I see it in their leadership styles. Uh, the superintendent is a manager where the director is more of a leader. 
the leader being he's more innovative. Uh, he wants to change the department. He's got a vision and he's more people focused. Uh, he has followers uh, and then he's, you know, he's leading to shape the culture and drive the integrity of the department. Where the superintendent more as a manager, you know, he's more about administration and he's focusing on the work. And it's kind of funny because for him, it's more about subordinates instead of uh, followers and staff. And for him, uh, doing the right thing is keeping the status quo. So again, I can see why both of them do clash with each other. Again, one being a guardian inspector, the other one being the rational mastermind. Uh, but I, it's funny because both are happy being who they are. Uh, I, I think in the end, you know, both of them work for the agency to reach the same goal of making the, the city of Rancho Cucamonga a world-class community. Uh, so again, we need these two different types of temperaments because, yeah, one is the director, uh, the other one is a superintendent, but they fit in their roles uh, in, as part of the organization because of the special traits uh, that we're all born with and, and have. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to uh, read your comments as well as I look forward to seeing your videos so I can comment and get your perspective on individuals you work with at uh, your uh, place of work. Uh, with that, I hope you have a great day and God bless. Bye.